Welcome to another episode of Keep Creating. Today we're going to be showing you some of the latest and greatest products brought to us by the crafting industry. We're going to be focusing on the winter and holiday lines of paper, stamps, embellishments, embossing folders, and more. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. We are going to look at some of the brand new paper lines that we have in. These uh, were released this summer at the CHA show. And we have a couple of different lines that I wanted to show you of some fall papers. So this fall paper is A Perfect Autumn by Cartabella. All of our papers are super thick and they have this great feature that they are double-sided. So you can have wonderful different projects done and you only need one sheet or two sheets to create a ton of different ideas. This one here is really pretty. We have this nice, this is perfect for a fall layout if you were going to make a scrapbook or a card. All of our designs are really nice and small so they make perfect card backgrounds. This one here is a different set made by Bella Boulevard. Um, we do have more of this one here but uh, this one is really cute. Again, the owls, the owls must be big again this year. Um, we have the November here with the give thanks and the thankful and this one here is a perfect just cut them out just the way they are and you're going to end up with perfect card fronts. Great way to get a couple of different cards made or if you're into scrapbooking you could cut them out put them right on next to your pictures and you're good to go. Again these ones are all double sided which is great. These particular ones, again, are more fallish autumn, so they have great blues and oranges and nice bright yellows and greens and have some wonderful different designs to go with any layout or any card that you might be making. Now we have a ton of different Christmas ones out right now as well. This is another one by a, the company Bella Boulevard as well. This is Christmas Cheer fantastic piece for your card fronts. Makes great to and from little tags for any gifts. These again are all double sided. You can see here this is from the other side. It's a wonderful uh, bright and nice nice and bright and nice and, and um, festive for the holiday. You usually see all greens and reds but these are nice blues and pinks and still fun but it's a great way to be able to see some new designs that we have here at the store. This one looks really cute. It's got all these little ornaments on it. We love this. You can embellish any of these, cut out different pieces if you wanted. If you're looking for something uh, much more basic, here's a great basic design for your background. This one's really cute. You can cut out the little penguin that we have or reindeer, maybe even... Um, layer them on top of one another with a little bit of a foam dot and you can have yourself a little three-dimensional project as well. These are just some more ornaments that we have and this is that Christmas countdown collection. The Christmas cheer and Christmas countdown collections are both here at the store and ooh, isn't that bright huh? And they're both here and ready for the holidays. Now one of our favorite lines that we carry here is Graphic 45 and Graphic 45 always comes up with something really unique and special. It usually has something vintagey, and that's exactly what this one is. You can see it's got a really nice tones, a nice red, but it doesn't, it's not stark white, it's much more of that vintage cream beige type color. Now they have, uh, again, a bunch of different designs here that you could cut out. It seems to be the, the thing that a lot of the paper companies are doing now, making it really nice and easy for you to make any kind of cards. These ones, oops, I think that's the same one. Yep, this one here is a nice big snowflakes in an unusual color. It's like a limey green color, but with the whole line, it works, so you can see. This one here is some borders, so if you were making a scrapbook page, you can see how the borders are um, all here. You could actually cut them out individually, which is nice. Again, some nice bright colors, 
clocks. That's very popular with Graphic 45. Lots of clocks. This one has some holly and, of course, St. Nick on it. Just some plain holly if you're looking for that for a nice background. Again, that one is the border one that we have. Oh, and here's some bigger hollies, which is nice. Again, you could cut these out because they're nice and big. You cut them out and mount them on top of one another. It makes a really great statement on your piece. This one here is great for a background. You could actually use this just as itself. You could mount it in a frame and have it just on your mantle if you wanted. I know a lot of people uh, have done that. They've actually embellished different pieces here, buying a couple of pieces and then mounting and raising up these little pieces here. It's a nice little conversation piece and every year Graphic 45 does something different. So it's really great to be able to see what their latest design is. This one here has Santa Claus on it. It's kind of busy, but if you uh, were to put other papers on top, see if you put this here, you know, you could make it quite, um, quite reasonable to look at if you were afraid of the busyness. And then the last one here is just another one of those cut aparts that they have and it's got a couple of different sayings on it. A little bit different than the other cut apart but definitely still great to make for cards. Now the last set of papers that I have to show you is just a winter set and this is again by Cartabella and this is the all bundled up and this is just very basic really pretty blues and reds and whites and it's just super thick you can you can just hear how thick that is and all of our paper is double-sided so you can see they've got some really pretty designs here look at this it's just like a, a birch forest isn't that nice it's just a really pretty pretty forest that we have here just some dots. Dots are always popular. That dots, the chevron, plaid, they're all very popular for any kind of uh, paper that we have at the store. These are what they call six by six pieces. Each one of these would measure six inches by six inches. So if you're making a little mini book or if you wanted to make different cards, it's basically the same design that they have before but just in mini form. You see that they've basically taken that one piece here and they've shrunk it down to a six by six size. So if you're looking for something smaller, we have a couple of these that you can actually use to have the smaller sizes. Here's another one with some snowflakes on it. Snowflakes are always very popular here. We have several people that absolutely love snowflakes and, and they, um, they love to have anything with a snowflake on it, have a snowflake, and, and uh, it's just great to embellish, and it's pretty versatile for any time uh, during the winter. And again, more snowflakes, just a different design than the one before. You can see this one was very bright and colorful, and this one is a little bit more muted with the unique snowflakes there. We have oh, another cut apart. So this is Cartabella's version of a cut apart. This is um, just some great, the, here's a journaling square if you wanted to scrapbook with it. Or if, here's another one, you could actually check off what you wanted. You could use these in a card, of course, but you could also just use them in any of your art projects as well. Think about a uh, beautiful design here where you could actually put a picture and you could cut that design out just a little bit and then mount the picture behind it. It would look really great uh, in a frame. Here's some more snowflakes with some swirls, an unusual color for winter, a nice bright red like this, more cranberry-ish red. And then some mittens to go along with that. These is a, this is a great mitten um, with the snowflakes all mixed together. And then we have some snowmen, which are always very popular as well. Not as popular as the snowflakes, but certainly very popular. And again, all of these come double-sided, which is great because you can use them interchangeably for anything that you might need. When we come back, I'm going to show you some stamps that came in from this year's show.
a human for a while, and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she does strange tricks for no treats. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? Welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at some of the stamps from this summer show. This summer show, we had a host of different companies, and one of them was Stampendous. Stampendous always does a fantastic job at this board program that they call it. So this one here, they come in just like this, already pre-done, which is fantastic for the store. And then you can see the different samples that they have already made great inspiration for you to see and it also comes with sheets to tell you exactly how it's done. So just ask us if you want to know and we'll be happy to copy off a couple of those for you. This one here we have a couple of different stamps. This particular guy the night before Christmas he looks just like this. Now in case you're wondering how that these go on to your design you do need a stamping block for that. A stamping block just looks like this. It's just a clear piece of acrylic. Mine's kind of dirty, but that's great for the camera so you can see it. And then they just peel right off. They stick right on and then you can stamp them right onto your project, which is great. Now this particular one here is a house mouse design and house mouse makes fantastic cute little stamps all surrounded around these little mice and their little gruffy friends. So here we have the night before Christmas and he's got a little one down here that's put on to the card front. I'm sorry, this is the envelope. I'm sorry, the envelope. And this envelope little guy here, so adorable. And you just color them in with either your Copic markers, your watercolor pencils, your distress markers, memento markers, anything you want to color them in with. Then we also have this one here, which is the gingerbread guys, and they're right down here. These are actually called gingerbread house, exactly. Now you can see this particular design here. This one has been stamped and colored, and then a little bit of stickles or glitter has been added onto it to make a really unique card. We have this really pretty one with the candle. It's called Santa's Cookies. And it's a little mouse has written a little note to Santa Claus to tell you, uh, tell him what he wants. And that one's right here, down here. And again, this is just a nice little sample for us. We have this one where they're trimming the tree. It's called a bunny tree. So no mice in this one, but there are a couple of bunnies and they make really cute little ornaments and they're adding them to the tree. They're, they're, they're cute little carrots on there, isn't that adorable? And then the last one here from Stampendous today is Angel Mice. And they are just little angels in some holly. And they are just sitting there. It looks like maybe they're singing away. And there's a design here on the board for them as well. So that's just a couple of the ones that came in from House Mouse this time. Some of the other stamps that we have gotten in recently are made by Impression Obsession. Now Impression Obsession makes a ton of different types of stamps. They make cling rubber and they make clear. This is just a few that have come in. Um, some of these designs were last year's designs or maybe even further back than that. But you can see that there's a nice little sled here and also a swing. And the swing could go one or two ways. You could actually color this for a summer time or you could make this um, all with some snow on it and you could make it a snow scene. There's also a church and some cardinals in a bucket here. And again, you could make the church scene a one, something that has to do with, um, you could even do it maybe Halloween or you could do some summer type scene if you added some um, flocking or whatnot to the tree. And then of course the, the birds, the cardinals here with the bucket, they are perfect for the winter holiday. 
Another stamp company that we carry a lot of, and actually they're coming out with some brand new ones this holiday season that we're getting in this week, and they this is Denami Designs. Now Denami has several different types of stamps. They have them on wood block like this one here. They have them on cling, and they're all rubber stamps, so they all have that nice rubber look to them and they all stamp really nice and clean. When you stamp a clear stamp for the first time, sometimes you don't get a perfect image for the first time, but with the rubber, it seems to do much better um, when you stamp them. This one here is Owls. Owls are a couple of years ago, I believe this is one of the popular ones that they have. Happy owl days It's a very cute play off of the holiday. And then they have this really pretty Merry Christmas one, I believe. Um, this one here was last year's design. Again, the ones for this year are due in this week. So we also have, last but not least, a little reindeer chicky. Now they are really well known for their chickies. They absolutely do fantastic itty bitty little chickies. Not only do they come cling like this, but they also come on little wooden blocks, which are really cute. They have Santa and, and um, they even have Frankenstein and Franken Chicky and all sorts of different chickies that you can play with. So that's Denami Design. Now we also have some generic ones too or some other ones that, that have come in. This is one of the brand new ones from Art Impressions. They just came out with this and this is a shaker set. He is actually really, here's a nice really great big one that the company sent me for this particular design. And this is just this little elf, and he is holding on to a present. Of course, the stamp's not this big, but it gives you a better idea of what it looks like. And it also has the present and the little saying right in it, which is nice. Now, this one actually does include what they call an action wobble. An action wobble allows your design to actually kind of move when you open it up. It kind of has like a little wobble to it. And it's just a little piece of plastic that you adhere to not only the card, but the back of your design. And then it just kind of moves around when you open it. It's cute. We have a uh, memory box, Merry Christmas. We also have Happy Holidays, Seasons Greetings. We have some Hanukkah stamps as well. We have a bunch of different types of words. We always have Wish You Well, Happy Birthday, Deepest Sympathy, those types of things. But this particular one is, is um, one for the holidays right now. And then one of the stamp sets that we got in, we're also getting in more Penny Black this week as well, but this is one of the ones that they have had in previous years. And this was my uh, Christmas card the design that I'm making. So I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with a simple stamp like this and just kind of make it a little bit more. This particular stamp, I stamped it. I actually colored it with my Copics. And then each one of these little banner pieces here I cut and I just made it so that it had just a little bit more interest to it. On top here, the little piece that glitters is just a little bit of stickles. And then um, just put it on a little piece of paper with a little bow and it makes a perfect Christmas card. Nice and easy to send. Doesn't have to be Christmas, could be holiday. Uh, anything that has to be poinsettia. So a perfect little way to start off your holiday season by getting your Christmas cards done, your holiday cards. A couple of other things that we have in the store is embossing folders. Now these are brand new from Elizabeth Crafts. Now this is a pine cone sprig and again, here's that snowflake. I know that uh, people love those snowflakes. Now these are a little bit unique for the average crafter. They actually have, let's see if I can take this out for you. It is a piece of plastic, just like this, and you open it up and you put your piece of paper inside and then you close it and you roll it through a cuddle bug, a big shot, any one of those types of machines and it will actually squish it and you'll get a nice raised effect on your card. So it makes a nice great background for any of your holiday cards, your projects, anything that you have going for you. Now you could take this, ink it up with any type of ink, and then actually place that right down and actually stamp with it too. So it makes a really great um, versatile 
unique product. Again, this is the pine cone one here, and these are brand new, just came out at the end of September, and we're happy to have them here in the store. Some other things that uh, Elizabeth Craft has is these things called peel-offs, and these are stickers. We don't carry a lot of stickers, but these stickers we do carry. They just say season's greetings on them. I'm hoping that the camera can pick that up there, put it up a little bit more. There you go. Can you see that? It says season's greetings. They come in a different variety of different colors, so I have silver and gold. They also come in black. But in this particular case, I'm just showing you a couple of the different ones that we have. They, we have ones that say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We also have the Happy Birthday and whatnot as well. But you can see it's just really cool. You can actually take that. I'll, I'll actually open one of these so you can see how that works. So we're going to just open the back here. They're really kind of hard to see on the shelf. But if you can see this... When you peel this off, just like so, you're going to actually have this piece. I actually have a piece of paper right here. I'm going to put this on. You can see that there's just this little season's greeting. So it's almost like you've stamped it, but you haven't. Isn't that neat? So it doesn't look like much in the package, per se. But when you peel it off and use it, it actually is a really versatile piece to any of your holiday projects. And of course, something like Seasons, Greetings, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, any of those, even Happy Birthday, they have multiples on them. So you could probably get all of your holiday cards done with just one simple pack. And again, just nice and easy. They peel right off and they stick right on. Some of the other peel right off and stick right on ones we have in store are um, some holly and a sprig. We have some snowmen. Oops. We have some um, ornaments, lots of different types of ornaments. This is an ornament with trees. And let me just take a look to see what this one is. This one's going to be some more ornaments that we have here. And the last one I have some more samples for. These are ornaments with birds. And I actually have some samples of these that I have made. And you can see how nice th these are when they're done. So they, they were originally, they look like this. And now I have actually cut those out and I have colored them. So they just peel right off, put right, them right back onto some paper that you might want, color them in, and then you have these beautiful pieces that you can now use on any kind of card project or um, anything that you might want to use. You can even cut them and maybe put them together, put a little ribbon through them and hang them on your tree just like that if you wanted. So there's a couple of new products that we got in just for the holidays. We're getting in lots of new things all the time. So if you haven't stopped by, we'd love to see you. I realized at that moment, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. wanted to show you a little bit more about these peel-off stickers from Elizabeth Craft Design. So this season, holiday season, they have this beautiful holly and sprig one. And I have here some watercolor paper, some markers, and some water with a paintbrush. And we're going to do this particular design or type of coloring on this paper with these. So the first thing you want to do is just peel off your peel-off super easy it's just a nice little sticker now the easiest way to get this onto your watercolor paper without having it get all mushed up because it's kind of delicate is to put it so that the sticky side is face up take your watercolor paper and place that right on top and just kind of give it a nice press and then you have stuck that right on you can see that 
So now it's super easy for these. We're going to take some different colors. Um, I have some distress markers here, and I also have some memento in the greens. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to color some of these. Now this is watercolor paper from Elizabeth Craft as well. And it actually is a, um, I believe it is a cold press paper, uh, if I memory serves me correct. It's kind of got a nice texture to it. And I'm just going to color in these really quickly. I don't know if you can see that design here. And it's not really great at the moment, but we're going to enhance it with a little bit more color. Just again, just a teeny bit in some areas. And then the magic happens when we get some water going with it. I'm just going to add a little bit more down here because this one would be in the shadow. I'm kind of a little particular when I get to my coloring. <laughs> so now I just have a bucket here full of water. And I'm going to just take my brush and I'm going to go ahead right on in. And you can see how that just moves the color. And we're going to just move that and color all those little holly branches right in here. If you've got too much water, you can actually pinch off your brush just like that to get a little bit less water on it. And you can just go ahead and just move that right a little bit. A little bit of water will move it. A lot of water will move some more, but you do want to do a little bit at a time. And you can see. Now if you don't like how it looks, you can always go back in and add a little bit more of the color here and there. And because it's already got some water in it, it will automatically start to move for you, which is nice. And you can really create some beautiful designs with these, with these peel off stickers and just a little bit of watercolor paper. So you can see how I have colored that in right now. We're just gonna get the red berries and then we should be all done. Oops, wrong end, red berries right in there. Get a little bit more red because we got some others. And fix that right up. Now you could finish off this by cutting it out, adding a little bit of glitter to the berries or to something, um, to the even the leaves. So you can see this beautiful design that I have completed here. I've cut it out and I have attached it right onto this ornament. It's just a really cute little design that we have made with peel off stickers, watercolor paper, and some markers and water. We've also done a nice glittery project here. This is made by one of the teachers that works here, Maria. And she's made this beautiful card that you could place on your mantle. Now this could actually be mailed with no extra postage because it lays nice and flat, if you can see that there. Or, and when the person gets it, you, they just open it up and it just lays there and it hangs. Now this is all done with glitter rather than with markers, but you can see all the different colors of glitter that she's added to these same type of peel off stickers. I hope you've enjoyed the demo and the tutorial that I've shared with you today, and I hope you have enjoyed the projects and the products that we brought to you. We'll be right back. Isn't it amazing what you can do with a little bit of paper, stickers, and markers? The holidays are a perfect time for you to be making handmade greeting cards, art, or even home decor pieces. If you have a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming episode, please send us an email at keptcreations at gmail.com. Until next time, keep creating. stands behind America's veterans to make their transition back home easier with free services and help getting the benefits they've earned. Help us fulfill the promise to our men and women who served. Go to DAV.org to learn more.